Okay, so I'm doing this video because I spent probably three hours watching videos online about um, overclocking my CPU and really could not get answers. Uh, the videos were horrible. You got a bunch of tech nerds telling about the motherboard and this, you know, talking for an hour before they actually do anything, and then you find out you don't get the information you need. Like, just give me the settings already, okay? Uh, I, I don't care about all that stuff. And I built this computer. I'm not a tech nerd, but I can do anything I put my mind to. So I built this. I don't care much about the specs other than it works, and the specs are within what I need for the jobs that I'm doing. Um, I did not use a water cooler. The reason being, I researched, and this is better. It's cheaper, and it costs less, and I don't have to worry about it springing a leak and ruining my computer. Uh, I'm not a gamer guy, so I don't care about all the fancy lights and all that. I've got these fans with the lights, but... I didn't buy them for that reason. I just wanted to keep the computer cool. I couldn't care less about the lights. Maybe I might even turn them off if they're, you know, taking power away from my CPU. Um, this cooler right here is the is the cooler to get. Period. End of story. Uh, it costs less than a water cooler and it works better. Don't waste your money on the water cooler. Um, got two fans on it. I've got a uh, Intel i9. Uh, 12,000K 16 core. Mainly, I built this music, uh, this uh, computer for music production. My uh, my laptop with a quad core from 2018 was not keeping up. I got 75% of the way through a song producing it and couldn't finish it. So I moved everything to this computer after I built it, which took me about three days to to move everything over. But anyway, let's get to the uh, let's let's get to this. I'm going to give you settings, okay? I'm going to give you the settings to overclock your um, your CPU, your 12,000K i9. Uh, I'm going to just give you the settings, okay? I've been fooling with this for a while, and And I'm going to do what the other guys on the, all the videos won't do, which is just give you the daggone settings and, and have a nice day. Um, they won't talk too much. So I'm trying not to talk too much, or I'll talk while I'm doing stuff. All right, so here we go. All right, so first of all, if you, if you burn up your processor, don't blame me. Uh, disclaimer, uh, do this at your own risk. Um, processors, from my understanding, can be a little bit different from each other. One could be a little bit different than another. You could overclock one more, maybe the next one not as much. I guess it's a, a difference in the manufacturing tolerances uh, because of how they're made. So uh, it looks like I got a pretty good one here because I didn't see anybody else online getting this out of it. Um, I basically bought this off eBay. It was new and it was about $620. And, you know, I ordered it in. So, all right, I've got Turbo Boost at max. You see all the settings here. I've got a voltage offset of uh, negative point uh, zero six five the voltage is set at one point two seven five and I've got the turbo boost uh, turned to unlimited and if I scroll down this is what will probably shock most people because I didn't see anybody else getting this online period end of story where they weren't getting it they weren't able to get it um, they, their, their stuff wouldn't run stable um, fifty five fifty five 52 for the rest of them. Those are the performance cores. The efficiency cores, I managed to get up to 42 and then 41. Okay. Um, now, just sitting here doing nothing with the computer, really no usage. This is what we got going on um, with this program here, Core Temp. That's what we got going on. Motherboard. My motherboard is that. I know the motherboard can make some difference. All the videos I watched online, the guys were using, uh, was it Asus motherboards? So I don't know if that makes a difference or not. Maybe these are better. I have no idea. Apparently they're both made in Taiwan and they're both big companies and they compete with each other. So I'm not sure. But anyway, um, benchmark. All right, let's let's run this benchmark and see what happens. 
Um, by the way, no thermal throttling. I've done this numerous times. There is no thermal throttling on the way I have this set up. It doesn't happen. So... Five point four. Let's try it again. Let's give it time to cool off for a second. You see the max temps here. Not even close. Not even close to a hundred. Not even close to the danger zone. Okay. I had it hit five point four. Actually, I had it almost, it almost hit 5.5 once. All right, let's see what we get on this one. Five point four seven. Ninety was the highest temp. Now, I think this program here, this is the Intel uh, U -tuning, uh, Extreme U Tuning Utility. I think this is giving you an average temp of all the cores. This this program here I downloaded core temp is giving you the um giving you the different cores. As you can see, the highest one 89. It got up to 89. So there you have it. You can you can squeeze 5.4. At least out of mine, you can squeeze 5.4 safely. Uh, stress test, same thing. I can run it through a, a five-minute stress test, CPU stress test, and I've done it about ten different times, and it is never thermally throttled. Watch, I'll probably do it now that I'm filming it. Um, but it is it is never thermal throttled. So I tried to raise a little bit higher than this, but if I kept playing with it, maybe I might be a squeeze a little bit more out of it. I tried to open the volt, open the voltage a little bit more, doing a little more offset, raising up a little bit. I couldn't get it to get stable. You know, if I played with it two or three more days, a few hours each day, maybe I could get a little bit better than this. But I'm just going to leave it at this. I'm happy with it. Um, it's it's doing what I need to do as far as my program. My song I was doing on my prior laptop had an Intel i5 quad core. And I had installed extra RAM in it and everything, but still, and it has a solid state drive, but it just wasn't doing it. Um, wasn't wasn't cutting it. I was actually running 75% CPU usage um, on that, and then when I went to extract the song, to download the song, it pushed it to 100, and barely extracted the song. So I knew I wasn't going to be able to finish the song because I was only I was it's about 75% done with the song and I was 75% CPU usage. So with it running, with the program running and the song playing and everything on, so there was no way I was going to be able to finish the song with that computer. I opened the program and did the same thing with this computer the way it's set up currently, and it actually only uses 19% of the CPU when everything is on and it's playing the song and it's running and. I'm actually producing it. So, as you can see, the um, thermal, uh, not thermal, the uh, stress test, it has not thermal throttled. If it thermal throttled, it will list it right there. It will actually say it. So, no thermal throttle has occurred. Um, I'm just going to let it run through the stress test, and we're going to end the video. So, we've got three more minutes. I'll let you see the, the temps here, what they're getting to. See, even, even pushing it at 100% load, that's like I said, I think I could get more out of it, but I'm not overly concerned with it. This will do more than what I need to do. Um, as long as nothing breaks on this, I probably can produce my music on this. Rock music, by the way, you know, real music. Um, I probably can produce... Man, I could do a huge song with this. I mean, I'll probably be able to do music for the next 10 years on if the computer doesn't break. Um, something on it doesn't break so this should not be obsolete for some time and also this those of you that produce music based on my research the reason I bought this CPU I was actually going to get a um, AMD but apparently this is the most uh, the best pr um, processor currently for music production on the market and I think this processor only came out three or four months ago so and something about it's really uh, apparently it's just it's 16 cores, but it's really like two processors put together. You've got eight 
workhorse cores and then you got like eight efficiency cores I guess that kind of jump in and help out here and there I, something to do with the threads and stuff so it's apparently the first time they've ever made one like this and it's unique uh, in the way that it operates but as you can see nothing nothing has gotten over 90 yet so I would like to actually get this pushed up higher I mean I mean looking at these I mean is it possible I mean if we're running 5.47 gigahertz and you look at these temps, I mean, if you pushed it kind of, you know, to the mid 90s, upper 90s, I mean, could could you get could you get six could you get six gigahertz out of this processor? I don't know if you can or not. Uh, maybe some of you can start with these settings that I gave you and, and work from there. And maybe some of you can figure it out. But I don't think I'm going to go any farther than what I have already. All right, we have 57 seconds. Still no thermal throttling. Still no core over 90. So as you can see, this this is this 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 right here. Apparently the company is out of Austria. I researched it. I bought it on Amazon. It was a hundred dollars. You you can't really buy a decent water cooler with good reviews for that. And based on my research, this works better than a water cooler. So it's got two fans. It's got these giant heat sinks with fans. When I had the glass off, you could you could touch the ends there, and they, they were a little warm. They never even got hot, really. Um, I've just got 32 gigs of RAM in it. I've got another one on the way. I'm gonna have 64 in it, so it runs a little more efficiently. But yeah, these fans and, and they kick on a little higher when it gets hot, and it, it keeps it cool. I mean, I'm I'm shocked how good this cooler works. Truly shocked. Um, it's 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 real. It's a really nice one. All right, this is done. Past no throttling max temps never even got to 90 so there you have it I just did the video that nobody else will apparently do for some odd reason just give me the settings already jeez um, I'm gonna run one more benchmark just to see what we get So it's not thermal throttling, and it's and it's and it's um, it's um, it's stable. So the 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 whole system is stable. I've had no problems. Everything's running. Look, I got to 5.5 that time. Now I did hit it did hit 100 apparently at one point, but that's probably just because I just did the stress test and it was probably hot. Um, so, um. Yeah, I mean it'll thermal throttle if it does. It'll 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 go down. I'm not really going to be doing anything that's ever going to really push it. I'm by doing these benchmarks and these benchmarks and um, the the stress test. I'm actually pushing the processor more than I would ever be consistently pushing it doing my music production. So if it'll hold up under this load, I should be just fine. Um, I'm actually going to keep the core temp program set up on it. What I did was I actually. Um, actually set up the uh, I set up the overheat protection so that it would be automatic and like really notify me if it does get at critical levels so I can take action but with what I do with this computer I mean I ain't mining bitcoins with it or nothing so I just don't think it's gonna be a problem anyway hit the subscribe button I do lots of different videos I might do some more computer videos if I do more stuff hit the subscribe button and I'll do more um, who knows, maybe I'll even play with this more. Uh, have a good night. Bye-bye.